Well, look at you. You know what I got here? You got it in one. It's a baby magpie. The Australian magpie is a magnificent bird. Beautiful black and white coloration. And of course, that magnificent song. Not to mention the dive bombing that occurs every springtime when we literally run for cover. Ask you this question: How would you like to be the foster parent of a whole nest of baby Maggies? Well, guess what? We're about to meet some people who've done exactly that. It's been hard work, but it's been very worthwhile, hasn't it? Hey, eh? my little friend. Just a few weeks ago, breeding season got underway, and all around the country, thousands of chicks were being raised by mum and dad. <coughs> but in a leafy suburb of Canberra things were not going well. We received a call to a, a, a nest of magpies where the mother had disappeared. Found a nest about eight metres up off the ground, so we called the Bronto. It's a very large truck, which has like a cherry picker type appliance. There's a couple of birds that weren't looking quite so well, that were sort of stuck under the other guys, and got them out as quick as I could, put them into a basket, brought them back down to the ground. There was already Kumiko from ACT Wildlife on scene. Uh, she had protein food ready for the magpies and then whisk them away to where she looks after them. This tricky rescue was a success, but these chicks weren't out of the woods yet. Now came the hard part. So when you finally got the babies home, what did you feed them to start with? Yeah, um, we feed um, insectivore mix. We start feeding them every 15 to 20 minutes and then check if they're hungry because the parents come back so often. You are a full-time magpie mother, aren't you? <laughs> Do you have children of your own? Yeah, I have. How many? I have five children. Five children? Two magpies? When you let them go off into the wild? Yeah. Do you feel no, a bit sad? No, no. I just feel? feel so, so glad when they they are doing okay and when they come back sometimes and I know that they are safe. Yeah. And I just feel so happy. Will you feel the same way when you release your children? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't experienced that, but I will try. Here's a little baby magpie. And you'd swear, wouldn't you, that this bird's just fallen out of the nest and therefore in trouble and needs rescuing. That's not always the case. In fact, nine times out of 10, this is normal behavior. This magpie has left the nest, but parents are very close by, keeping an eye. This is where they're gonna find some food. See, it starts to pick in between all these branches. If you're concerned, by all means revisit every few hours and have a look and make sure it's still okay. But this magpie is fine. It's part of its normal development. And far too many people pick them up thinking they're doing the right thing, and take them away. Not a good idea, because it's very hard to relocate them later on. Good morning, Becky. Do you want some breakfast? Here you go, come here. Many people love feeding magpies, and if it's just a little bit on the side, I don't mind. But please, not mince meat. It's not a proper diet. There are on the market a whole lot of what we call insectivore mixes, because in the wild, that's what magpies do. So feeding straight meat to wild birds or trying to raise baby birds on the same sort of diet is bad news because it's totally unbalanced, particularly when it comes to minerals. And that big mineral that's important is calcium. You don't get enough calcium, you get rickets. You get rickets, you get wings like rubber. You get wings like rubber, you don't get to fly too far. It's like feeding the kids, you know? Here comes the train, open the tunnel door. And now, I'm bringing Kumiko back to where it all began. Do these hey. people look yes. familiar to you? Hello. How are you? Hey, can I talk to Harry? We brought you a little something to show you. Hey. Well, Kumiko, why don't you do the unbound? Oh, wow. Get on your hand. Yeah, there you go. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They look fantastically healthy now. 
They're very small when you rescued them. They were only yeah, tiny babies. Yeah, that's that one. Yeah. They're going at a rapid rate now. Who'd think that was only four but, weeks ago? Yeah, that's huh? right. If they had your intervention, <laughs> they wouldn't be here today. Well done, can we go? No, right? thank you so much for your help. It's all, all yours. Yeah. No problem. And uh, the bird's thanking you as well. Yeah. Say a few words. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You know, you do your very best to make sure they, they survive and uh, end up on TV. <laughs> <laughs>